So how does caffeine work and how does it impact our sleep and disrupt our sleep? Well, caffeine is a class of drugs that we call the psychoactive stimulants. Um, and I should note, by the way, it's one of the only stimulants that we readily give to our children without too much concern or thought. But caffeine will impact your sleep in a number of different ways. Firstly, because it's a stimulant, it's more likely that you'll have difficulty either falling asleep or if you fall asleep, you may have difficulty staying asleep, that it will wake you up and then it's harder to get back to sleep. That's the first problem with caffeine. The second one is something that many people don't understand about caffeine, which is that its duration of action is much longer than you may expect. Um, caffeine has what we call a half-life of six hours, but it has a quarter life of 12 hours. In other words, if you have a cup of coffee at noon, then a quarter of that caffeine is still in your brain at midnight. So a cup of coffee at midday is the equivalent of tucking yourself into bed and just before you turn the light out, you swig a quarter of a cup of caffeine or a cup of coffee and you hope for a good night of sleep. And that rarely happens. The third thing about caffeine is that it will actually block your deep sleep. So some people will say to me, I'm one of those who isn't really affected by uh, caffeine. I can have a cup of coffee after dinner and I fall asleep and I stay asleep. So isn't that okay? Well, one standard cup of coffee in the evening, and we've done these sort of studies anywhere between 150 to 200 milligrams of caffeine in the evening, will actually reduce the amount of deep sleep that you get that night by about 20%. Now to put that in context, I would actually have to age you by about 15 or 20 years to decrease that amount of deep sleep by 20%. Or you can do it every night with a cup of coffee. So caffeine is one of those things that you can restrict. Certainly caffeine in the morning can be used strategically, um, but try to limit caffeine probably after about 10 o'clock in the morning, or at least try to cut down your caffeine intake uh, 14 hours before bedtime. Decaffeinated coffee, it turns out, doesn't taste so bad.